Hey guys, welcome back. So we have a new project here today. What we're gonna be doing is taking this area and we bought some Ikea cabinets and shelves and we're gonna create built-ins along this wall. The new shelves and cabinets are gonna be flanking the window taking the place of the shelving unit and the light. Right, so this should take a couple days for us to get this fully built. We do have a lot of furniture to put together. We have eight total pieces to build together to create four cabinet systems and now be two on either side of the window. After that's completed, we're going to remove the baseboard and the quarter rounds and we're going to fix them to the wall and anchor them in so they are fully so they're safe. And then once that's done, we'll reattach the quarter round and the baseboard, but we'll do it, we'll cut it to size and make sure it all fits. But that's a lot of work. This is gonna take a couple of days, like I said, so we're gonna get started. All right, guys, this is our 100th video, and I wanna take a moment to thank everyone for watching and following along, and let you know it isn't necessarily about how to put IKEA furniture together, which you're going to see, but it's about transformation. It's how to take an area and turn it into something more elegant and useful, which is a little bit of imagination, a little bit of hard work, and a lot of fun. And instructions with no words. All right, guys, I got a few helpful tips and tricks to help you accomplish the feat that is of putting IKEA furniture together. Number one is try to be organized. Try to put all of your hardware together in different categories because it comes in a jumbled bag. That will make it so when you reach that point where you need a specific item, you have it organized so you can grab one specific piece and move on. And that leads me to the next part, make sure you remain calm. This can be a chore, it can be a burden, it can test your patience, just try to take a deep breath. If you gotta walk away, walk away from it, but remain calm at all costs. The tools I'm gonna to be needing for assembly is gonna be two different size Phillips head screwdrivers, a slotted head screwdriver, a drill with different size bits. I'm gonna use a plastic and rubber mallet and then a level. The level's not going to be needed till the end when we're attaching to the wall, but it is something you're going to need. Now I'm not going to get too much into the exact instructions on how to build this furniture because really it's just about following directions. The directions may not have words, but the pictures are self-explanatory. They're pretty simple and easy to follow. What's nice is that there is a product number beside each piece in the initial page. And then later on, when you decide that you're going to need that piece, that serial number is right next to that piece when it's first introduced. So you know you can match it up to which piece that you have and which one you're going to need to make sure you're using all the right pieces. extra pieces for the shelves now that they're assembled they're gonna go on there but we're not assembling that portion of it until we actually put it against the wall because it comes with its own anchor system for the wall itself so we're gonna move on to the next one and we're gonna do this without stopping at high speed everything is set up and organized now it's time to work it should go a little bit faster since I've already done it once
yourself close, you have to make sure you put them opposite of one another and not on the same pane. Because that's what I did, now I had to change it up. And as you can see, the area in which we want to put the shelves really is a mod podge of different things. So we're going to clear that out and then remove the quarter round. Now with our rough placement, it seems to look pretty good and I think this is where we're going to end up putting it. But now we have to make sure that it is evenly spaced. And here comes the difficult part because I have to be exact. And we're using the window as our center point. IKEA doesn't supply the wall anchors, so we're heading to Home Depot to pick up some heavy duty wall anchors. And while we're there, we're picking up brackets to attach the shelves together. Now we're going to connect the glass cabinet to its base using the connecting system that comes with it from IKEA.
Now we're gonna put it back against the wall and check to see if it's level. And now that we know that it's not, we're gonna use a wrench that comes with the kit to adjust the front legs of the base cabinet. And there we go. And we'll do it for each individual shelving system. Hey, buddy, are you here helping? What do you got? You got your drill? Let me see it. You're helping, huh? Organization is key here. We have everything set up and we're going to double check to make sure everything is spaced correctly and is level. Now we're going to start marking where our wall brackets are going to go, both on the furniture itself and along the wall. Now for the glass cabinet wall anchors, what we're going to do is actually start sinking the screw into the wall. So we have our marking where we're going to drill our hole and put our anchor into the wall. This is the bracer and spacer that's on the back of the cabinet. This is what's going to go against the wall and this is what our anchor screw goes through to ensure there's not a large gap between the actual base of the cabinet and the wall itself. For added strength and safety, we're going to be adding these two inch brackets to the back of the shelving units, attaching them together. Now that the shelving units are secured together, we're going to pre-drill all the holes for our wall anchor. We're going to use a drill bit that came with the wall anchor set. Now we're going to loosely attach the wall anchor brackets to the open shelves. Then move the shelving unit back against the wall and check to make sure that the spacing is still correct. Now once I've got the loosely attached wall brackets affixed to the wall, then I'm going to hand tighten after I verify everything is level. Now that everything is secured to the wall, we're going to put the shelves back in. When we did our initial measuring for the shelving unit, we did account for one of the wall sockets, but there was one that was in the middle of one of the cabinets. So what we ended up doing is measuring where it was and cutting a hole out so we can access that wall socket. Now that the wall is all secure, we're going to replace our quarter round. We're going to measure each area individually, cut it to size, and then we are going to replace it. And when we do that, we're going to be using a nail gun that I just purchased for installing the flooring downstairs in our grow room. I'll leave a link to that video above. And once that's in, we're done. All right, guys, so that is it. That is it for our 100th video. And I think everything we did just looks fantastic. It's a great complement to the room. It adds a lot of storage space, bookshelves, places for pottery, places for knickknacks, places for the boys' toys. And I think it all worked out well. So that's going to be it for today. If you have any questions, as always, leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.